It says rank in order of decreasing acid strength. So here is our star three. And we're saying decreasing acid strength. All right, so what do we know? We have, ooh, we've got five things to worry about. Uh, we have three of them that are fluoro. One is a single, one's a double, and one's a triple. And then we have a chloro and a bromo, and these are just singles. So think about what the uh, periodic table is telling you. Fluorine is above chlorine, is above bromine. That's your electronegativities. Fluorine's the most, bromine's the least. So they're talking about decreasing acid strength. I need to grab, first of all, the most electronegative situation that's away from that hydrogen that's trying to escape. So this trifluoroacetic acid should be the answer to our question as being the strongest because it has these fluorines all pulling electron density away from that hydrogen. That will be stronger than the difluoroacetic acid. Oh, I've spelled, spelled it, wrong. it wrong. I spelled it wrong. Mm. Which has... Okay, everyone makes mistakes. <laughs> which has two in here, but they're still pulling away. And that will be stronger than the fluoroacetic acid. I think I got it right this time. CH2 and an F. And that will be stronger than the chloroacetic acid. And that will be stronger than the bromoacetic acid. Where's the dichloro again? Where would it be? We don't have a dichloro. We yeah, just have fluoro, difluoro, trifluoro, chloro, and bromo. Because otherwise it starts to get too close to the same and then everybody's not quite sure. Oh. Yeah, so we're being a little <laughs> careful to make sure that they should be obvious in some way, right? And just remember, the reason why is the high electronegativity. Yes, of the fluorine is pulling electrons away from the vicinity. Oh, froom. Yes, froom. Something like shroom. But anyway, it's pulling it away from that carboxyl group. Okay, and then the other thing that we put into this is, hey, since there's three, that's more than two is more than one. And the other thing that we put in was that fluorine was stronger than chlorine, was stronger than bromine. So that's what we did on that. Okay, so back up here, we're going to find out we have another one to do. Now this one, they're making it a little bit easy on us because they are asking... Just which is the strongest and which is the weakest and not asking us to order the ones in the middle, which I would not want to do, okay? That would not be that much fun. So, all right, what do we have here? Let's, let's look at what they are so that we can understand what we're talking about. This is, uh, hmm, this would be a selenate. So this would be... Instead of sulfuric, it would be selenic acid. Whew. Okay, that's a weird name. That's because we don't use it, right? So we don't know it. Here's your sulfuric acid. Here would be, hmm, there's only three here. So that would be selenite. This would be selenous acid. Oh my goodness, what the heck. And then we have... H2SO3, this would be the ick, this would be the us, so this is sulfurous acid as opposed to the sulfuric acid. 
Now, it's asked, what's the strongest and what's the weakest? Well, hopefully we have memorized that sulfuric acid is one of the seven strong acids. So it's like, okay, none of these others are in that list. So boom, strongest in this set is going to be the sulfuric. Why? Because that, that's got four of these, right? Right, so the th well, one of them is attached to a hydrogen that's going to escape, but the others are pulling the electron density away. Now, what's the weakest? Well, I gotta think about that for a minute. I can be sure, though, that this that has four would be stronger than this that has three. So I'm going to eliminate this one as a choice for the weakest. It's not going to be the weakest. All right, that's great, I've eliminated one. And this one's out because I've already used it. What about these two? Well, they're both O3s, they're both H2s. Here's selenium, there's sulfur. Oh, if you look in the periodic table, what you find out is that sulfur is higher up in the chart than the selenium. That means that it's going to be more electronegative. So the sulfur is more electronegative than the selenium, and the sulfur is not attached to the hydrogen, so it's pulling electron density away from that hydrogen. So since sulfur is gonna be stronger than selenium, I'm going to eliminate this one, and then I can answer that this Whoop, whoa, I gave it a promotion. Okay. <laughs> Is going to be the weakest.